As I bring you an exclusive interview with Mayor Michael Ginelli as he fights back against the New York Times and MSNBC. Well, it, it was implicated in such a way, and it really wasn't that um, they implicated me as much. It was about what it was about, and it was about a piece of steel that we had gotten. And actually, we applied for it in September of 2011 for the 10th anniversary of 9-11, um, which Sea Caucus lost six people in, and we had several people serve in the military since then. Um, we applied in the proper way, not through Governor Christie's office or any political means. We applied uh, through the Port Authority with a woman named Nancy Jackson, who was a lifetime career employee at the Port Authority, and that was her job to distribute this, this steel. Uh, we applied in 2011. We didn't receive the steel until the early part, I think April of 2012. So it was a lengthy, lengthy process that really involved no political inter intervening at all. Well, you know, at the time, Jews my picture, um, and um, I think it's guilty by association. I think the reason they used my picture is because it was a great picture of Bill Baroni. But um, listen, it upset me tremendously. Um, it, upset me, it upset me so much because there was no truth involved in it. And, um, you know, uh, looking at the papers and what they print, uh, you know, there's like 500 bloggers already uh, taking shots at Governor Christie and myself when the two of us at no, no point in time ever spoke about a piece of steel from the World Trade Center. Again, we did it correctly. We did it by the protocol that the Port Authority had put forward, and that's what we followed. Um, you know, I, I was taken back by the fact that they reported on something without even consulting the person that they were going to slam on the front page of their paper or on the TV screen. I mean, I, I think if they would have spoken to me and allowed me to produce the documents that we used to gain that piece of steel, um, I think the story would have been much different. But, but right now, I think that um, anything they can throw at the governor and hopefully something sticks is the, is the way they are leaning. And I, I think it's a disgrace. I think uh, insinuating that something from 9-11, again, was used in that improper fashion when I know it wasn't in my case. I can't speak for others. But in my case, I know it certainly wasn't, and we were asking for it for all the right reasons. Um, I think it's a disgrace that they did such a thing. Mm -hmm. Now, Mayor, j just to be clear, obviously in the before the endorsement came by last year uh, in the summer of 2013, which again, I, I covered it and I spoke with you that day at, at, at a very nice diner here in Sea Caucus. This is the first time the entire council will have endorsed a governor or anybody in a, a higher office. It's something that we don't typically do. Um, but we had a lot of reasons for that. Number one, the leadership during Hurricane Sandy was second to I, In my former life, I was a public works director for 35 years, and I was a former fire chief. Volunteer so I've been through a lot of that stuff. I've never ever seen the type of leadership that you provide. Not only just Sea Caucus, but every municipality in the state of New Jersey. It was very informative, and the information we put forth for our residents was just, our residents was just exceptional. So, you know, right. on behalf of all of us, and I'm, I'm sure on behalf of everybody in the state of New Jersey, the leadership was second. To right. So we we praise you for that. Right. At any point in time, did you ever? feel pressure to give an endorsement for Governor Christie? Uh, and I mean, I, I had gotten a call probably sometime in mid-2013 to see if we would consider endorsing the governor. The call came from his campaign office, not his administrative offices, and I told the person that I would get back to them after I spoke to my counsel. And uh, like I told you once before, I mean, we basically endorsed him because of his leadership and his help to our community throughout Hurricane Sandy. I mean, that was it. So during Hurricane Sandy, Governor Christie's leadership to Sea Caucus was, was second to none. I'm Fernando Uribe, coming to you from Sea Caucus. And as always, stay classy, everyone.